Boyfriend says misogynistic things like women who can't have children are useless. He has problematic views that bother me at times. The statement that was quoted in the title was said last night, and I was in such shock that I was stunned into silence. I didn't talk to him until the next day, and he kept prompting me to respond. I told him that I'm choosing my battles wisely, and that I choose not to participate in that conversation. Because tbh, if you're a grown person with that mindset, I don't think a simple conversation is going to help you change your point of view. I don't have the energy to beg a man to have more empathy for other women. As he shares more about the way he views women, my view of him is starting to change although he is a great boyfriend. Since I told him that I choose not to participate in the conversation after he said that, he says, since your feelings are so hurt, now I can't share any of my thoughts with you. Now everything has to be sugar-coated. I want him to be able to share his thoughts and opinions with me but he needs to understand that I'm allowed to be offended when he says something offensive. What should I do? Edit please be kinder to me. I didn't intend on offending anyone but the overwhelming amount of criticism and hate that I'm getting is unexpected. Are you okay with him calling you useless, if heaven forbid, it turns out you can't have children? It's a matter of time until he proves to you that he sees all women including you as a collection of body parts existing to serve men. Your second paragraph described him belittling your need for psychological safety in the relationship and he will use it to justify his future bad behaviors. He's showing you who he is. Believe it. I'm sorry your boyfriend isn't choosing to be a better person. He says, since your feelings are so hurt, now I can't share any of my thoughts with you. Now everything has to be sugar-coated. Aha, uh -huh, making his offensive and sexist views your fault. Don't fall for that. This lazy, manipulative nonsense would be a deal-breaker for me, but you have to decide for yourself how much of this BS you're willing to take. He isn't a great boyfriend. He's getting comfortable and his persona is starting to crack. What would you have done if he had said that on the first date? Tell him you're allowed to be offended and walk away. I do hope you're counting red flags. Dump him. Seriously. Stop dating men who don't see women as fully human. You deserve better than a man who believes things like that. Does he think that men who can't have children are useless? When they tell you who they are, believe them. I have to wonder what he genuinely thinks about you, as he genuinely doesn't like women. Guy says something extremely misogynistic, basically showing how he thinks you are lesser than him. Although he is a great boyfriend. These posts make me so sad. That view isn't problematic it's unacceptable. You have posted a lot on our antinatalism for someone who has a partner who views women as incubators. Are you sure you two are compatible? Or have you suppressed who you are and what you believe for a man who isn't, frankly, worth it? Girl, find your standards. Jesus Christ, what it is with people who cannot take ownership of their own feelings. Say offensive thing. This is not a nice thing to say OMG how dare you you've hurt my feelings I just won't talk then. Arg. This is a train wreck waiting to happen. If he thinks women who can't have children are useless, that means that if the relationship progresses he is probably planning to have children with you. Even if you don't seem to mind being seen as not quite human, surely you do not want to have children with a man that will not see your daughters as people and teach your sons to not see women as people. What should you do? Break up with him. Without even making it about pregnancy, the idea that any person needs to have a use at all is incredibly toxic. Reducing women to baby incubators is fucked. Women who can't have children are useless. You're seriously asking what you should do? Do you know if you can have children? You're useless to him if you can't. Men who hold these opinions terrify me and I would do everything I could to never talk to him again. As he shares more about the way he views women, my view of him is starting to change although he is a great boyfriend. He's not a great boyfriend. You could just break up with him. It will not improve. 
Men who are misogynistic rarely if ever change their views, they might soften the edges here and there but this is who he is. What should I do? Leave. XBF hopefully. What you should you do? Girl he is saying literally you are a walking uterus, what else do you need to run away from this guy? People are multifaceted, he can be good with some stuff, and horrible with other stuff. You just found out the later. If he can change his mind, it's your call to try or not, if he can't, then run. Red flag. Yeet his ass. Leave. Leave right away. He's emotionally blackmailing you dang he now can't open up to you because you'll get offended. He blamed his flaw on you. That's a very subtle manipulative tactic and that says so much about his actual personality. Get the fuck out of this relationship. Saying something very clearly offensive and then essentially accusing you of being overly sensitive is like the definition of gaslighting. Not to mention his unwillingness to respect your decision to end the conversation by prompting you to respond. Super manipulative, super toxic. Big yikes sis. You handled yourself well. Don't be bullied by this kind of behavior. You are not the problem in this scenario. You misspelled ex-boyfriend. He stated the punishment for sharing your thoughts with him is to withhold his thoughts from you. Your great boyfriend is gaslighting you to make it so you can't be upset at him when he says degrading and dehumanizing things about women. Since your feelings are so hurt, now I can't share any of my thoughts with you. Now everything has to be sugar-coated. He might not be conniving and manipulative intentionally but this is just a manipulation tactic. Does he do other things to make you feel guilty if he doesn't get his way? Leave. Leave right away. He's emotionally blackmailing you saying he now can't open up to you because you'll get offended. He blamed his flaw on you. That's a very subtle manipulative tactic and that says so much about his actual personality. This type of mindset isn't a little problematic quirk. He does not respect women. Full stop. He doesn't respect you either. You should break up with him. Like today. That's awful. Why would you want to be with a man who thinks so poorly of your fellow woman? And you? Seriously? That would be it for me. Life's too short to put up with shitty men. Why are you still dating him? And don't say you love him and he's really a great guy underneath because men who genuinely love and respect women don't say this shit and treat them like breeding stock whose feelings are inconveniences to getting their dicks wet. Although he is a great boyfriend. He says, since your feelings are so hurt, now I can't share any of my thoughts with you. Now everything has to be sugar-coated. These are contradictory statements. A great BF doesn't emotionally manipulate their partner. You should reconsider this relationship, IMO. Find a new boyfriend. Run. This guy sucks his measuring your worth, your value is likely low and conditional. It sounds like his continued value assessment in you is gonna be dependent on how much you believe he's right. I think the manipulation of finding fault with you for showing discomfort with that statement is the hidden but huge red flag here. Gaslighting. He doesn't respect you. Head for the exit. You get to pick who you are with. Although he is a great boyfriend. For fuck's sake. No he is not. Stop it. You meant to write ex-boyfriend right? Dot right? He's telling you he sees you as a thing to use and then gaslighting you about the misogynist things he says. You deserve better. Run. That is not a man who is safe for you or anyone else to be around. Time to move on. My favorite part is that when he realized you weren't okay with what he said, he then decided to play the victim because he now can't say cruel things and has to sugarcoat his thoughts. He's the victim.